Good morning, Hersey family. This is HTV News with your host, Ron Burgundy and Veronica Corningstone. Good morning, Hersey High School. I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Veronica Corningstone. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I'm kind of a big deal. I mean, uh, people know me. I have many leather-bound books in my apartment. It smells of a rich mahogany. Well, that's great, Ron. Um, but here are your announcements for today, Huskies. There will be a meeting for girls interested in playing water polo this spring after school and Thursday in room 137. All are welcome. See Coach Mack in 137 if you cannot attend. You know, Veronica, some people say that if I shave my mustache, I'm a dead ringer for Mr. Huber. Who said that, Ron? <laughs> Well, Mr. Huber is having a meeting Tuesday, February 12th from 3 to 3.30 in room 124A. Important tryout information will be discussed. <laughs> wow, great Odin Draven. That's soon, Veronica. <laughs> sure is, right around the corner. Attention girls soccer players. There will be a voluntary free play Saturday from 3 to 5 in the field house. Son of a bee sting. That is soon. Girls Softball has a voluntary free play for anyone not involved in a winter sport today after school in the field house. Huskies, don't forget to bring in those socks. You can drop them off in the bins in the main hallway. The registration deadline for the March 9th SAT is Friday, February 8th. Knights of Columbus, get those in! Boys Gymnastics is starting Monday. All skill levels invited. Check out this promo video. And now, part two of the interview with the second most interesting man in the school, Mr. Janu. Who's the first? Principal Sisson? Shemansky? <laughs> Me, Ron Burgundy, of course. <laughs> have you uh, entered any film festivals? I have. Uh, I, I, uh, Facing Sudan went to like 27 or so film festivals that won two Best Documentary Awards. In film festivals. And then Crayons and Paper went to about 14, 15 film festivals. It's actually in a film festival right now. It's an online global film festival called Culture Unplugged. So uh, <coughs> people can view that film for free at cultureunplugged.org. Cultureunplugged.org. Crayons and Paper is the film. You can go to it and you can vote on it and stuff like that. Why Sudan? Uh, good question. That's a really good point. Uh, I've always been interested and concerned about human rights, and Africa has always fascinated me. And when I was making that film, I had met somebody who worked here at Hersey. His name was Brian Burns. He was a custodian here, and he had been to Sudan several times. He had seen some signs, because at that time I was a co-sponsor for a group called Teens Against Genocide Tab. And he had seen some signs, and he came to my room, and he told me that he had been there to Sudan. And I thought that'd be kind of interesting, so I, I asked him if I could video him, an interview, that I could use in class. And so we met in the black box, actually, and he brought pictures, and his story was so interesting. And, and, and I thought, well, this is, this is more than just a little video to make for my classroom, and I decided to, to make a little short film about him. And then I started meeting other people like him, you know, these ordinary, everyday people who had this connection with Sudan and made a difference there in Sudan and that's kind of how the film then progressed from being what I was just going to use in my classes to being a film about Brian Burns to being a film in total of about 13 people from all walks of life who have made a difference in, in Sudan. Thank you very much for chatting with me Mr. Janu. Yeah and now you owe me 10 bucks right? Yeah. That's all for today Huskies. I'm Ron Burgundy. Stay classy. Thanks for stopping by. Ron Burgundy, uh, stay classy. Thanks for stopping by. No, uh, I'm Ron Burgundy. Just stay classy. Hershey High School. You have the personality of a wall. <laughs> I'm going to break your kneecaps in your sleep. I'm going to throat punch you. <laughs> Where'd you get that outfit? The toilet store? Hey, cool tie. I didn't know the Goodwill store was having a sale.